In our galaxy, both our solar system and other stars move around its center, but stars don't all share the same speed or direction. As a result, encounters with other stars are inevitable. Astronomers conducted a detailed search for stars that will pass close to our Sun. They analyzed 300,000 stars and found 16 that will come very near. But out of those 16, there is one that will enter our solar system. From Earth, we will be able to witness a second Sun. On December 19, 2013, from the Kourou Space Center in French Guiana, the Gaia probe was launched into space. Its main mission, among others, was to measure the position and movement of stars. Four years later, it had already analyzed more than 300,000 stars, many of them very close to our solar system. Scientists were surprised by 20 of these stars, which will pass near our solar system, influencing orbits along the way and triggering a massive disturbance of comets, potentially sending many of them toward Earth. 16 of these stars will pass very close to the solar system, but out of these 16, one will cross into the gravitational boundaries of our solar system. Gliese 710, located near the constellation Serpens Cauda, a segment of the Ophiuchus constellation. With an apparent magnitude of 9.66, it means the star is dim from our perspective, not even visible to the naked eye. Gliese 710 is currently 63 light years away from Earth, a close neighbor on the cosmic scale. Let's travel to it. Each bright dot we see now is a star like the Sun. Gliese 7110 is an orange dwarf star, slightly smaller and cooler than our Sun. Classified as a K7 type star, it belongs to a category of stars that are among the coolest and least luminous in the main sequence. These stars are known for their stability, often shining steadily for tens of billions of years, far longer than our Sun's expected lifespan. With 60% of the Sun's mass and about 67% of its diameter, Gliese 710 is notably smaller in both size and brightness. The star's surface temperature is around 4,250 degrees Celsius, significantly cooler than the Sun's surface temperature of approximately 5,500 degrees Celsius. This cooler temperature gives Gliese 710 its orange color. It will be the star that enters the Oort cloud of our solar system, passing at distances between 13,000 and 16,000 astronomical units from Earth. To give an idea of how close this is, considering we're talking about a star,
At 10 astronomical units lies Saturn. At 100 astronomical units, the Kuiper Belt. It's an area filled with comets, and many comets come from this region. Between 100 and 1,000 astronomical units are the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 probes. And between 1,000 and 100,000 astronomical units, a very remote region we know as the Oort Cloud, an enormous cloud of comets, planets, dwarf planets, and where the hypothetical Planet 9 would be located. At 4.3 light years away is Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun. In this region, in just over a million years, Gliese 710 will enter our solar system. All objects in this area will experience immense disruption due to its powerful influence. At its perihelion, the closest point, Gliese 710 will be between 13,000 and 16,000 astronomical units from Earth. At this distance, it will cause true chaos in the solar system. Its gravity will alter the orbits of objects in the Oort cloud. This disturbance will send many of these bodies into the inner solar system, literally triggering a rain of comets lasting millions of years, with up to 10 comets visible to the naked eye each year, possibly causing impact events. This event could cause the extinction of life on Earth as we know it. However, it will happen far in the future. Calculations suggest it will pass at least a million years from now. We obviously won't exist by then, but perhaps a remnant of the human race will, and they will witness an incredible spectacle in the sky. Those on Earth will witness a second sun in the sky. The second sun won't shine as brightly, since it won't be as close as our sun. Future inhabitants of Earth will see something similar to this. Studies suggest that at least 20 stars have the potential to approach the Oort cloud, disrupting the orbits of comets there and sending them into the inner solar system. Any star that comes close to our solar system will alter it. And without a doubt, Gliese 710 will be the star that affects our solar system the most. According to researchers, it will be the most disruptive encounter in the history of the solar system. This star will pose a great danger and trigger a true rain of comets on Earth. But it is very likely that by a million years from now, if we still exist, we will have mastered enough technology to leave the solar system and search for another star that hosts a planetary system similar to ours. After this discovery, one question remains. Did the same thing happen 66 million years ago when the dinosaurs were wiped out? If you enjoyed and learned something new here, don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next journeys into space. Is there a place in the universe you'd like to explore? Share your suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you on the next Star Trip.